sorry, it may be stupid hot outside, but we're wearing comfy clothes and we're gonna talk about fall knitting plans. Now I'm not, I can't exactly call this plans, more of fall knitting want to make list because we all know that our plans go awry and yeah, it's just, I want to make these and I hope I get to make all of them. I'd be happy with making one. Yeah, there are six of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I can count <laughs> sometimes. There are six things on my list that I want to make and we're just gonna go for it. So in no particular order, we have the Sweet Gum Cardigan. Now this is from Expression Fiber Arts. I have talked about this sweater cardigan before. Um, I've showed you this yarn, I believe. Um, yeah. It is this yarn. Um, so these three were in a kit that was limited edition, so these colors are no longer available. I needed one more skein to go, I got two of these, so I needed one more skein to kind of go with them. So I got this one in the same yarn base. This is called uh, Take Chances. This is the Twisted Tweed Sport from Expression Fiber Arts. This kit was called Lost in a Sea of Dreams. And hold on. These, that is going to make the most beautiful tweed buttoned cardigan you will ever see. Probably not, but I think so because tweed is awesome. Um, I'm excited to make this. So this is a sport weight cardigan. It is two strands held together throughout so you get a marled effect and um you're it's a gradient so you're switching out colors um it's top down there are buttons um there is short row shaping and there is small little cabling along the button band on both sides um i will be using the suggested yarn because it was gorgeous and i couldn't stop myself <laughs> um, it is designed with zero to four inches of positive ease in the bust and I really want this one like tomorrow <laughs> but it's still stupid hot outside and not exactly cardi weather but you know that doesn't stop me from making off-season things that shouldn't stop anybody from making off-season things because if you make it off season, then you get to make it, make it, wear it for the weather that you actually want to wear it in. That's just my opinion. Make your cold weather stuff when it's kind of hot outside. So that way, once it's finally cold, you can actually wear your cold weather things. Anyway, so Sweet Gum Cardigan from Expression Fiber Arts. That. Um, next up is the Sea Glass Cardigan from Wool and Pine. Now this is another in their Sea Glass collection. There's several of those and they are all gorgeous and I want to make all of them. But Cardigan, because yes. <laughs> um, this is a DK weight for the main color. Um, and then uses DK worsted and fingering weight held double for the contrast colors. This is, I love all their patterns because they're great for stash busting. Um, and I've, I've, I've got some stash to bust. So see glass Cardi. Um, this is a raglan cardigan. You can either do a V-neck color or a shawl collar. There's instructions for both. It is top down and there's buttons and it's designed with two to six inches of positive ease. Um, 
I don't have the yarn for this one, like the DK weight for the main color. Um, I have scraps, but not enough for actual main color knitting that can use the scraps in the, in the other bits. But for the main color, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to pick one that would go with all the scraps that I would want to use. This one would require some planning. And I want this one also tomorrow. <laughs> but I, I knit fast, but I'm not that fast. Okay. So, yeah, I, I just love all of Fulcrum Pine. Um, they are so fun. Okay. Next up, number three is Kunixi. This is also from Expression Fiber Arts. I mean, are we surprised? We're not. They are my absolute favorite. I learned to knit from her videos. I taught myself to knit from her videos. Anyway, uh, Kunixi. This is not a sweater. It is not a cardigan. It is a swancho, which is a sweater poncho combination. Um, there is directions there is there are there's directions in the pattern to make it just a sweet sweet straight poncho you eliminate the sleeves if you want to go that route this is a sport weight pattern um it is designed as a gradient or you can do whatever you can do one color if you want to, but I'm going to be doing a gradient and I have the yarn for this one. This is two strands held together, same as the sweet gum cardigan. Um, there are some cables running along the arms and it has a cowl neck. So it's not exactly, a, it gives you that turtleneck look, but without the chokage of a turtleneck. <laughs> It's fun. Okay, so let me show you my yarn, okay? I think, yeah, I posted a reel um, using this yarn, unboxing, if you will. I mean, I'm dropping yarn, yarn issues. Okay, so here's my yarn. <laughs> Okay, there's that one's in the back. Ah! I have issues holding five skeins of yarn, apparently. Um, it was the inspiration photos for one of these colors in particular that made me want the entire collection. Um, it was, hold on, no. I don't remember which one it was, <laughs> but the inspiration photo is, was a strawberry milkshake in a clear glass with a handle and the milkshake is just like flowing out the sides and you got the swirls of the pink and the white and it was, it made me want a strawberry milkshake so bad, but I bought yarn instead. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, so these, not that one. That one? Okay. These four were inspired by the strawberries. Now I needed one more skein for the yardage. So I grabbed one in the same um, yarn base that went with them. So you can see it, it goes with those yarns nicely. I'm really having a lot of trouble holding these. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's going to be great. Um, did I already tell you about it? I did tell you about it. I did. Sport weight. <laughs> Hold on. All right. There was somebody at the door. <laughs> anyway. Um, where was I? Strawberry inspired yarn. Yes, I believe so. Um, top down, held double, sport weight, sweater poncho thing. 
you know, all of these six ones, I'm going to want them tomorrow. So I, there's no point in me saying that every time. On to the next one. This next one also comes from Wool and Pine. Are you sensing a theme here? Wool and Pine and Expression Fiber Arts. Um, this one is a fairly new release. This is the Stowaway sweater. And I saw the picture and I wanted it five minutes ago. Okay. This is a, this hair is bugging the crap out of me. This is a DK weight sweater with Fair Isle sleeves and an optional kangaroo pocket also in Fair Isle. Um, there is actually a knit along going to be happening with this sweater starting Saturday, August 10th and going through October 15th. So that gives you plenty of time to make it if you want to knit it with other people. Um, I'm not going to join the knit along because people, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I just, I don't have time to join a knit along. Um, it is designed with two to six inches of positive ease. It is a modified drop shoulder, top down sweater. Um, so you start with the back, shape the neck, then the front stitches are picked up and you continue on from there. Um, I don't have the yarn handy for this one. I don't know what yarn I would want to use if I would want to use my favorite hand dyed yarn people or find a cheaper but not less awesome yarn. We shall see once I finally get around to knitting it. Um, I loved both examples of this sweater, both of the samples. I'm, I really want a burnt orange sweater and I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in this one or in a different one. I haven't made up my mind yet, but we shall see. Okay. Um, last two sweaters. Okay. This next one is also wool and pine. Spoiler alert, all six of these patterns come from the two same companies. <laughs> I, I can't help myself, guys. I really can't. Um, this is the Port Townsend sweater. Now you can do this in short sleeve or long sleeve, and I'm going for long sleeve because short sleeve sweaters are weird if they are not fingering weight. It's just, that's my opinion here. Okay, this, the Port Townsend sweater is DK weight. Um, are you sensing a theme with these um, DK and sport weight sweaters here? No, they're just, they're just pretty and I want them. Um, it is a V-neck raglan, top down with four to eight inches of positive ease and stripes. I love stripes. Stripes are fun. Stripes and tweed. Okay. Now you can do the recommended amount of recommended amount, recommended number of stripes in the pattern or make up your own striping sequence. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do the thick stripes or thick and thin stripes or thin stripes. I haven't decided yet. I will decide that once I start making this thing. And again, I don't have the yarn for this one, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I have enough yarn. I don't need more. I know that's weird for a knitter to say, I don't need more yarn, but I don't. And I liked the colors in the short sleeve version, but what really made me want to make it were, were words. Okay. What made me really want to make this sweater was the long sleeve version. That just looks so comfy and so cozy and I want it. I want it so bad. Um, and you get a free pattern with the purchase of this Port Townsend sweater 
you get the pattern for the Port Townsend beanie. And that's pretty cute too. So you might as well make a matching hat to go with your sweater. It's just a suggestion. All right, last one on my list has been updated. There are two, is it two versions? Or just the original version and an updated version. Two, I guess that is two versions. Um, this is the Fenmont sweater. It is from Expression Fiber Arts. Again, we are not surprised. It is a sport weight sweater, top down with a yoke and with zero, hush it doggy, zero to two inches of positive ease. So it is a very close fitting sweater. It's fine. Um, it is designed as a three color gradient in the original version. The original version uses the Twisted Tweed Sport from Expression Fiber Arts or EFA. And the updated version uses the Buttery Sport. So the gauges are slightly different and you use two different needle sizes depending on which yarn base you choose. Now, I first came across this sweater when it was when it just had the original version. The updated version came out this year and I really like the colors in the updated version and I kind of want to make that one, but I also want to make the tweed because tweed. I just realized that all three of the EFA patterns are tweed. I may have a tweed problem. I'm, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, so the yarn that I have, three of them are very, very, very similar in color. I don't really see a gradient in those at all. Um, and the last one is very dark. So here's, here's those colors, okay. Um, this one is the color Fool's Gold, and the rest of these are a gradient of fox. So this one is the Light Fox, which is very similar in color to the Fool's Gold. This one, bleh, stop it, is the normal regular fox color, which is very similar to the Light Fox and the fool's gold. Kind of see where my problem is here. And then this one is, I think the dark fox, it's a puppy. <laughs> Hi, Ooh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I love you too. Okay, yes. Are you gonna help me? You gonna help me, okay. Anyway, um, so this one, what was I saying? A, the dark fox color and kind of goes like that. I think I want the darkest color on the bottom. So it kind of looks like it's been color dipped, dip, whatever. I don't know. Either on the bottom, bottom or top. I don't know. The bottom. We're gonna do the darkest color that goes on the bottom. And what makes this sweater fun instead of just boring stockinette, because yes, endless stockinette is boring and I have a really hard time finishing things that are just boring, endless stockinette. Um, there are pearl rows strateg strategically placed, <laughs> cannot speak, throughout the pattern to give it a texture. Um, so throughout the yoke, randomly placed in the body, on the sleeve, it, it makes it really fun. It will make it really fun to knit because you have this pearl row or two to look forward to. And I'm already excited. And I have had this yarn forever. Um, so I got them one at a time. Were two, three of these? Oopsies. No, these two, I got to go with these two. 
because these two were oopsie skeins because these are hand dyed skeins and something happened in the dyeing and these two weren't up to snuff and so these were oopsie skeins and then I got these two to kind of go with these two and yes so six things I want to make this fall who knows if I'll actually get through them I think I we know I'll get through one the sweet gum cardigan so I really want that tweed cardigan as for the others, we shall see. We hope. Um, yes. What are your fall knitting plans? Do you have any yet? I know it's August, but we're manifesting the cold weather by talking about fall knitting. That's fine. We can do it. What are your fall knitting plans? I already asked you that. I need a snack. <laughs>